Hi. I'm just making this video to demonstrate my HTML jigsaw puzzle generator that is part of the uh, jigsaw factory package a bonus uh, tool in that package. You can find it in the bonus tools folder in uh, jigsaw P factory. So the way this works basically is it takes an image file which you can source either from your local file system or you can download it off the internet. This uh, program will work with either file sources. You can add extra files to the project if you like. And they'll be found in the extra files folder. Just uh, paste the list, comma separated list of files here. You create your project name here. Or you leave it blank to generate a blank name. Set FTP details here to do a file transfer protocol upload if you uh, want to host it on the internet somewhere. You can also generate preview images, thumbnail image of the preview image and a zip file archive. So I'll just grab an image off the internet, this one here. I'll grab the image address of that uh, preview file, paste it in here. Basically the program looks for either a HTTP, HTTP or HTTPS protocol header and uh, if it finds one it knows it's a web address otherwise it will think it's a uh, local file on your file system. So I've got that. We don't really need to fill anything else in. This is already checked, so we'll just create the puzzle file. And that will appear in the output folder. So I was just creating it, downloading it. Now I've just created it. So it's generated a random project name here for the folder, and this is the file it generated. And this is a HTML file, so you just double click on it and it opens in your web browser. <coughs> and it's a self-contained file. All the media is encoded into the file in uh, Base64 encoded text. So you can just share it as a single file, post it on a website or whatever. And you can solve the puzzle. This is actually a simplified version of the uh, puzzle client I use for Jigsaw, which is generated by Jigsaw Factory. So you've got, you can snap the pieces together like that. It doesn't have drag capability with these. So we've got to add that at some point. Yeah, just click on them to pick them up, clicking in to drop them. So, where is this? There. And you can align the puzzles with the edge of the screen, you can bump them to separate them a bit, scramble them again it'll scramble any connected pieces to or to the corners or to the sides like that order all like that and we'll complete the puzzle scramble them again and we can have multiple pieces so that uh, just gen turns your uh, image into a HTML jigsaw puzzle, which is completely self-contained. That's just a single file here. You can also, we will open one in our local file system. So we can also create preview image, thumbnail image, and a zip file. You can also upload them by checking these boxes here and filling in the FTP information. You can set the uh, different puzzle width and height and the density. Density is basically how many puzzle pieces get generated. Um, it basically sets how many sections the uh, program cuts the image file into along its longest side. The other side is just based, calculated based on the uh, width of each segment. So we filled all this in. We'll generate a 500 word puzzle, narrow one, and a, call it 700. 
width 12, sig uh, 12 density. Uh, let's create that. That's been created and the project name just appears here. You can copy it with that button there. It generates a random name. You can, as I said, specify the name here if you prefer. So that's created here. Let's create a preview image. You can set the size of the image. In this case, just use the uh, puzzle size. The size. This is the thumbnail. You can set the size of that too. Various configurations. It's 250 pixels wide by default. That's a zip file, which contains the other files. And this is the puzzle. So you got more pieces this time because we set a higher density. Uh, so that's the program basically. That's the file, uh, files it generates. So that's part of the Jigsaw Factory bonus tools package. So if you have Jigsaw Factory, which is currently five dollars, you also get all those tools and a variety of other small software tools. So thanks for listening.